Hello and uh, welcome on another one. Where are we? What are we? What's the plan? I hear you ask. What are they up to today? Right, it's the end of a, a quite a long weekend for us isn't it, in the van. Uh, we've been out in the bus for, well since Friday and it's now Monday afternoon. So excuse us if we look like we smell or we look like we haven't washed or we look like we haven't brushed our hair but we have brushed our teeth, <laughs> so we've got nice shiny teeth. Denise hasn't brushed her hair for three days because she lost her airbrush. We don't know what we've done with it. So it was either that or get a branch. Um, yeah, so we are at the end of a long weekend, so excuse us for looking a bit scented. It's a good job it's not smell of vision um, Yeah, we've uh, looked in a little guidebook, thanks to uh, shout out Henry Turner. Um, he says he uses these guidebooks uh, Wales and I think the Peak District, uh, no sort of uh, Lake District. I purchased them, brilliant. I think they're great. They've got some um, different locations in that you'd normally find. So I had a flick through, brought it with us because we're in Wales, brought it with us. I thought I'd have a look through this morning and try and find something I haven't been to, even if it's just to have a look. I don't think it's what we would class as photogenic and on this pure blue sky hot baking, hottest bank holiday Monday we've ever had I don't think it's up for much for photographs but I can promise you one thing I will take a photo no matter what the conditions so we're heading up this track we've parked at the bottom of the lane which is like a double gate which is locked um, yeah and we're just heading up this path I think I think reading the guidebook we're on the right track but there's no guarantee is there dear? There's no guarantee. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And uh, yeah, let's see where this adventure takes us. And uh, I'll catch up with you in a little while. I think it said cut and shed. I think, I think we're in one of the mining cutting sheds. Um, not quite Denarwig scale when you've got all the blades and everything in the uh, cutting shed. I've actually got a video up in the cutting shed at Denarwig, changing the subject again like I normally do, and I'm working on it at the moment. Now, whether you see it before this one or whether you've already seen it, then uh, if you've seen it, I'll put a link up. If you haven't, I will do when I do. <laughs> no, I'll, whatever, confusing. Um, yeah, one of the cutting sheds. So I think we're on the right path, which is good. I think so, the main part of it is only about another 200 meters. Another 200 meters. So let's go and have a look. 200 meters, I reckon, and. Uh, yeah, by the way, this says danger keep out, which I suppose is just common sense really, but there's not a lot to be danger about. Right, let's plod on, see what else we can find along the track. Come along the path a little bit further and there's another little sign just here. And apparently there's a pit, they call it a pit. Um, and this looks very pit-like. Uh, so what we need to do now is find a way in, which is bound to be one. But if nothing else, this is not a bad little walk so far. It's only a few hundred yards, isn't it really? Half a mile at the most and we're already at where we're coming to. Heather's all down the side here. Look, it's looking really quite pretty. We've got flowers and wild flowers out. There's blackberries around and all sorts really. So it's quite a leisurely little stroll. There's a little river over the other side of the fence. Quite nice. This would be the pit down here in the book didn't it to descend descend right well this is the pit entrance i think so let's uh, it's bound to say danger keep out again i'm going to give you the safety the announcement the isn't off, yeah i'm going to give you a safety announcement because i have to because i suppose people do watch this but there's a sign here it says uh, danger. danger keep out well that's obvious it's a quarry um and it's a pit so they're obviously got to put signs up because if i hurt myself it's down to me and they covered themselves um, and it is dangerous there's no fences there's no boundaries around but this is your pit bit of water down there lots and lots of slate cliffs 
So let's head down, let's go down and have a look. There is an actual pathway and it's an easy proper little pathway all the way down the bottom. So we are going down, but the piece de resistance I'll show you when I eventually find it. And it's the one thing I've come for, the one photograph I've come for, and it'll probably be a selfie, but that'll do me if I can get it. Right, I'm just having a bit of a conversation with the wife and I'm gonna put you on a bit of a slant, you're on a bank. Uh, yeah, like I just said, we're at the pit. Um, it's really hot, really sweaty. Oh, and I've got some new sticks, by the way. I'll tell you about them another time. Uh, Denise is here. She's gonna come down here. We're gonna have a walk down the bottom anyway. We're gonna have a look, because God only knows what's down there. So we're gonna have a look. The reason I've come is for this, which I'll show you. I'm not sure you can see on the screen, but over there, there's a, it's called the binoculars. The binoculars, I think it's called. Um, and sorry you're on a slant. I'll stand, stand like this if it helps. Uh, yeah, it's called the binoculars. It's two big boreholes and they're pretty impressive. And as far as I know, they're about five, six foot high when you get up to them. But I'm not sure, looking at it from here, how easy is it to get to? There's a lot of scree and loose uh, rubble underneath it. Um, but in the guidebook, it says you can get up there. So I'm gonna have a look. If it's not too loose underfoot, I will go up and have a look. If it is, if not, you're gonna put your longer I'm on. gonna put my longer lens on and get a shot from the distance just to say I've been here and that'll probably be it. Um, but I do want to go up there. I do want to go up there. And if you haven't guessed, I want the photograph in it. So that's the plan. Fingers crossed. I'll go and have a look. Come on, let's go and see. All right, I've just taken me out off. I'm at the bottom now. You can just about see just behind that tree. Where are we? Just behind that tree, there's one of the boreholes and the other binoculars are just at the top of that ridge. Now, looking at it, there's a definitely a little track here. There's a track here and the track goes up over that way. So I'm gonna take a wander up there and just weigh it up as I go. I'm not gonna do anything stupid and the wife's with me here. So I won't get too much stupid before she really hellos at me. Put my radio on, so uh, come on, let's go. We're off. I expect you just heard that. You've just been online, babe. Uh, yeah, it's not worth risking my life. Um, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, I'll let you know what I'm doing. Right, I'm actually, as you can see, right outside the entrance, sweating. It's gonna be harder going back down than it is coming up because obviously it's slate and it's slippy going forwards. Uh, I'm still underneath the rocks at the moment, which is a bit scary, I must admit. Let's go back over this way. If anything's gonna fall off the rocks, at least it'll miss me coming that way. Uh, right, yeah, I'm at the mouth, as you can see there, Whew, sweating a bit. I've got a problem now though. Uh, I'm gonna have to take my bag off, I think, and I might have to step down on here and try and just climb up this bit here. This is, this is too high for me to climb on. So I'm just gonna weigh up the situation. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not the bravest, because I do like in a bit of an adventure, but I'm not bloody stupid but I really do want to get in that cave and get a selfie because from inside facing out, it looks awesome. <sighs> look at it, look at that there. <laughs> How amazing. Oh, geez, I'm so hot. Right, I'm gonna put my bag down on the way up the situation. If the next clip's me inside, I've done it. If the next clip's me not outside, or oh, still outside, then I've given up. <sighs> Let's have a look. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I just stood at the entrance of the cave and uh, on this borehole and I really wish I had my torch because it is long and black. Bore your tripod for a moment and you're gonna to have to turn you off. I'm gonna to have to put the tripod on the camera. This is bonkers. Never seen anything like this before in my life. It is absolutely crazy. I'm a little bit scared, <laughs> my heart's pumping a bit. But it's amazing. I just wish I had my torch now. Uh, I might have one in my bag. I've got one in the van, I might have one in my bag. I used to carry one everywhere but it's so dark and round. I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and do a long exposure and see if I can get that depth to it. All I've got is the wide angle lens, the polarizer for the, for the texture of the colors. And that's it. So give me a few minutes. I'm sweating like a pig. There's probably a little bit of nerves as well. I'm gonna take the camera in. I'm gonna take a picture. I'll come back out, maybe take you back in and put you and show you what's going on. <laughs> this is brilliant. Back in a bit. scariest places I've ever really sat and taken a photograph because I just don't know what's down there it is so dark so black and as you can hear my voice is echoing hello hello that goes down a long long way right composition let's face you around this way composition what am I doing vertical shooting straight down this hole, this borehole that's been cut out of this mountain. And you can see all the lines and the ridges where it's spiraled its way through. There's a fern down here in the bottom corner, but I can't quite get it all in, so I've just taken a chunk of it on the bottom corner. But it's fantastic the way this goes through. Now there is water dripping down inside, which you can hear. Um, I've got to get a couple of selfies. This is what I've come for. But first of all, I've just taken a couple of images just to make sure I've got something. The lines and the the algae that's growing on the walls is just absolutely stunning. It really is amazing. But Jesus, it's scary. I'm such a wuss. But yeah, that's the first image. Um, I've taken three exposures, one for the highlights, which is outside, and one really overexposed to see if I can get some depth in the image. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna get a couple more and see what happens. But wow, this is spooky. Woohoo! <laughs>
Right, I'm actually inside the cave at the moment now. I've come in 15, 20 foot, and uh, yeah, it's just a spooky in here. Hello, man. But yeah, this is something else. Just look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Get on here. Um, I'm cooking an image. Fantastic image, unique. I've never seen this taken before. Sorry, I'm a liar. I have, it's in the book, kind of. Um, but unique to vlogging, I've never seen it vlogged before. Um, I've just taken some shots. I'm just gonna have a quick look at them to see if they actually worked, because I've bracketed the shot and it's the outside, I'm not sure about. Yeah, it's not got the outside, so I'm gonna flick it over onto a single shot, um, if I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna wind the exposure as far, there we go, as far down as we can. Two second timer. And uh, yeah, just get the uh, view outside the cave. That way I can blend it back in a little bit afterwards. Yeah, there's about three stops of light difference at least. I'm gonna take a couple more single exposures just so I know I've got everything. And then I'm gonna do my next selfie. And I will bracket it. Let's up the light really bright. Do another one. I've got about seven, seven different stops of light all the way through this. From three under, three over. Wow, what an image. Wow, 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 what an image. Fantastic, this is brilliant. Never seen anything like this other than the one I've seen in the guidebook. Right, now I'm gonna go and get in it. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna go and get the selfie that I was hoping for. I'm gonna put it on bracket in again. And uh, yeah, just, oh, where are we? I don't know where bracket is, somewhere around there. And uh, hopefully, get a shot of me in it. Right, one more shot before I go and you have to excuse the water droplets because like I say it's been dripping and splashing inside it. But I've got another image shut up, shut up, set up. Um, really, really quite unique, really, really nice. Again, never seen this shot, this is fantastic. The original borehole, which you can't see at the moment, I'll do a little bit of B-roll for you so you can see why I'm talking. The original boreholes out with the rail tracks on it, um, or whatever the tracks are, and there's a chain hanging from the wall on the left-hand side. You can see this tube that I'm in, it's leading you out, and in the top right hand third is the borehole that's left on the edge of the cliff. Looks like a jaw. Um, a really, really good shot. Well, I've had to bracket this massively. I've gone like almost three over and three under just to get a dynamic range. And I'm just gonna do my best, my utmost best to try and get this to work because it's really, really, really quite unique. It's fantastic. I'm gonna take them again. I'm gonna take three more shots. So it's five brackets. Sorry, you're out of focus. Five brackets, and then I'm gonna adjust the exposure down. And I'll do another five brackets. Because I can't miss this opportunity, because I won't be coming back here unless I bring some people back, because this is fantastic. This is really, really quite unique. Right, now I must get down. I'm gonna radio the wife. I'm gonna radio in. Hello, wife, I'm still safe. Can you hear me? Okie dokie, I'm just reporting in. Right, I'm just reporting in every few minutes. I've just reported just to let her know where I am because she knows it's a bit sketchy up here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack up now. I'm gonna make my way back down really, really slowly and I'll talk to you when I get back down to the bottom. But this is, this is fantastic. I've got myself a couple of shots that I never ever dreamed of even seeing and getting. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'll see you at the bottom. I'm gonna take my time. It's uh, sketchy going back.
we're down. <laughs> we're down. That was good. A bit sketchy coming down. It's a bit steep and slippy underfoot. It's not far. It is only 50 yards, but by God, it's steep and slippy under rock. Hello, wife. Sensible one. Sensible one. She stayed Sweaty down here. <laughs> That was good, that was exciting, that was really... I'm pleased I've done that, even though it was scary. That was fantastic, that was a, a unique experience, really, really good. So, is that it? <laughs> I think we might as well call it a day here. Yeah? I don't think I can outdo that for the rest of the day. <sighs> Please don't try this at home. Yeah, don't. Yeah, unless you've got a slight screw loose like me, and you like a little bit of adventure. Uh, yeah, don't don't just go coming over these places and doing this because it is it is silly and you are doing it at your own risk There's no one here to save you if you're on your own. There's no one here to save you, but I know some of us photographers do have a little bit of a a Trip every so often, but that was nice. That was all right. It wasn't day. It wasn't I wouldn't class that as overly dangerous <laughs> But yeah, no, no, it was exciting. Uh, I got a couple of good images I was using just out of interest if you are interested. I was using ISO 330 just so I can get the shutter speeds up a little bit. Uh, Polarizer was on, but it wasn't making a great deal of difference, but it was bringing out some of the colors. Um, hopefully those images come out. I've taken a load, as in bracketed shots. I don't know where I'm gonna use all the bracketed shots, but I had to take as much information in as I could while I was up there. And uh, yeah, hopefully, 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 I've got a couple of really nice, something different, something, something totally different. So anyway, let me say goodbye. It was only a short Binoculars. trip, but probably a long vlog vlog a vlog <laughs> uh, and yeah a good adventure for us I'm gonna take Denise down to the bottom now we're just gonna have a look down there and see what's down there while we're here and then we're gonna make our way back up to the van find ourselves somewhere nice and quiet tonight and we nice and quiet and maybe a bit scenic and see if I can do a sunrise in the morning somewhere but I've got no idea where I'm going so uh, yeah till uh, next time till the next adventure till the next stupid me take care take it easy get your camera out and go and use it you gonna say anything to say she thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> Ciao for now. Bye. Don't forget, check out Landscape Photography Adventures and also check out my website. There's a nice calendar on there for those that were interested. Plug, plug, plug. If you don't plug them, you don't know about them. See you soon. Bye.